How do you balance open conversation at home about sexuality and other families or friends not talking about it? And welcome back to another episode of Sitting in a Car. I'm Sarah Sproul and I sit in a car with you each week answering a question to help you raise a confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them. I'm going to tell you the great condom story. We have a great condom story in our house. It would have been a good few years ago, quite a long time ago, and I was walking my kid home from school. She was walking with a friend of hers, and the friend's mum was walking in front. And we were walking along the road, and what did we see on the footpath but a used condom? Because, you know, where we live, it's a bit like that, a bit dirty and grimy. And my kid says to her friend, Oh, that's gross. And her friend says, what's gross? And my girl says, oh, that's a used condom on the ground. That's gross. And her friend says, what's a condom? And my kid says, a condom is the thing you use to stop the sperm getting to the egg. And we moved on. And I'm patting myself on the back going, that was excellent parenting. My kid knew what a condom was. Good job. The problem was the next day that mum came over to our house really upset that my kid had told her kid what a condom was. She didn't want to have had she didn't want her girl to have had that conversation at that point in her life and she was cross. Now, is she wrong for being cross? No. She wasn't wrong for being cross. She had a particular idea of the way she wanted to do things and my kid had got in the way of that. But did that mean that I was wrong telling my kid about what condoms were? No, it didn't mean I was wrong at all. What I could have changed perhaps in retrospect now was to maybe talk to her, as now I'm going to answer this question, about how every family is different. We could start talking about diversity and say, in our family, um, we talk about things to do with condoms and how babies are made and all those things so that you have information to help you make good decisions and get on with your life and keep yourself safe. But not every family um, believes that this is important or maybe they just don't know it's important. They don't have the information that makes them realize that open conversations with kids that gives kids information are important. So that was maybe the bit that I missed out way back when I was talking to my young kids about things to do with human reproduction and bodies and sexuality. So you can learn from my mistake if you like and have those conversations, have the some people believe and then insert what some people believe and what I believe is and then insert what you believe. So in my case it was some people believe that believe that kids um, don't need to know about condoms and how babies are made. But what I know to be true or what I believe is that the more accurate information kids have, the better off they are because they're going to be able to make good decisions for themselves when they start getting close to being an, an adult. And they will have lots of information so they don't get scared or upset by hearing things that some kids might say at school. So to recap, open conversations, absolutely great and important and I would be a big proponent of open conversations at home. It develops a culture in your house that means that the kids know they can talk about these sort of things with you but there also can be a piece that says not every family talks like this. You're really lucky you get this information but not all parents know that this um, information is important for kids your age to have and so um you know, if you talk about it with your friends, then their parents might get a little bit upset. And I just want you to know that. But I have your back. And we both know, you and I, that this information is really important to have. And that's sitting in a car where I've answered a question to help you raise a confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them. Bye for now.